Every time a new ship or concept is released, CIG always release a Q&A in order for those that are looking to purchase to make better informed decisions. The new Saber Firebird is uh, CIG just released the Q&A for that to have give us a little bit more information as to how this uh, ship will behave uh, as in comparison to other ships in the verse. So, so very, the very first question that was asked was with this being the third saber to enter the lineup why would someone choose the firebird over another variant the answer that they provided was given the exclusive nature of the saber raven most players only have access to the base raven so between that and the firebird the main decision is how they want to engage in combat as the firebird prioritizes missiles over guns so now what's interesting is there is a huge issue uh, <laughs> with missiles uh, these days. And uh, this is one of the things that CIG needs to really dial in is uh, missiles aren't as effective because sometimes they, it's, it's a hit or miss, you know, sometimes most of the time they don't hit. Um, I feel like it's been getting a little bit better as of late, but I think it's still, they still need to make them a lot more lethal. I think, um, uh, it's going to be very important, especially as we approach Star Citizen Alpha 4.0. Before we continue, I'd like y'all to know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Mirai Pulse. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of June. Let's continue. So the very next question that was asked is, the Firebird has different silhouette to the base Raven. Does this provide any advantage or disadvantage in signature or flight capability the firebird's shape provides a different cross-section signature compared to the base raven but the ir and em uh, wise they're very similar given the near identical base component loadout however the firebird's performance and handling characteristics are closer to the raven what i did notice is that um the saber uh firebird is definitely an interceptor and it's it's it can really hit some really high speeds even in atmosphere it can hit some dangerous speeds um so i can attest to that um in a straight line though but uh, in order to, to to stay nimble um that's going to be hard especially in that atmos atmosphere it's, it's going to be really hard to turn once it's hitting its top speed i was testing that a little bit earlier um, but um, I think in space it will be it will be a little bit more nimble compared to Atmo um, as we expect. But uh, that's what I've noticed so far. Okay, so the very next question is: How does the Firebird compare to ships like the Gladiator, Talon Strike, Fury, MX, and other missile-based fighters? It says thanks to the 12 size three missiles, it sits firmly in the upper end of those ships in terms of total damage output. And while Having an identical loadout to the Talon Strike, the Firebird benefits from being able to fire more missiles in a single salvo. Okay, so all right, that's interesting. Um, I wonder, is it as is it tankier than the Talon? I think it's probably going to be tankier than the Talon because the wings of the Talon, as soon as you clip it, that's it. It's 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 useless at that point. Okay, so. Uh, the next question is does the firebird have any onboard personal storage in lieu of cargo capacity so essentially the question is is this can you can i run bunkers with this <laughs> all right and it says yes it has externally accessible personal storage and weapon rack so i did see this myself i saw the weapon uh rack as well as the um the personal storage um i did do a video recently on that if you want to check it out i'll leave the link of that in this video all right, so the next question is, can the missile racks be replaced with um, smaller size racks to provide a larger number of smaller missiles? And their answer is the Firebird has bespoke missile rack, so the 12 size 3 uh, capacity cannot be adjusted. However, the missiles within can be exchanged. Okay, so the next question is, uh, what kind of ship do you see the Firebird being most effective against? It says the Firebird is classed as a medium fighter interceptor, such as it's designed to combat smaller size fighters, though this uh, missile loadout provides extra punch against slightly larger ships. To be quite honest, um, 
using it as an interceptor um, in dog fighting hmm. um you can definitely if you if you use it in groups then you can have effective uh fire if you use it in groups groups of two or three and focus on one target yes i think it could be a very effective because even the um what do you call it the 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 drake uh uh the drake uh light fighter uh forget the name of it the buccaneer is extremely effective with uh the hit and run tactics of, of interceptors so um you can definitely do the same with this one um but in terms of its missiles i would only go after larger ships like your connie's like your maybe the cutlass the cutlass size and up is probably what i would focus on um okay so the next question is does the fiber handle compare to the similar size fighters and it says like the raven the fiber is tuned towards intercepting so sacrifices some agility for improved straight line speed so now if you do the straight line speed and you boost man it's it's that's a it's like a, it has a lot of horsepower uh in a straight line for sure i can attest to that okay so the next question is can the firebird be converted to the same loadout as the base saber or raven and they say no each ship has a unique call with bespoke items such as the firebird's missile launcher and the raven's em are not interchangeable Okay, which makes sense i get that the last question here says do any of the saber variants share paint compatibility and it says here yes the paints are compatible across the saber family that's good i'm glad that it is compatible all in all i'm really excited for this ship um whether i'm gonna buy it uh with uh real world money i'm probably gonna um not gonna do that i'm gonna get it in game uh, it's gonna be one of the ships i'm gonna just grind towards and um but those that, that do get it it's a fantastic vehicle um and right now if you're still on the fence on it go into iae and test it out you can rent it for two days and um i think uh, that's what you should do okay so before i let you go i'd like y'all to know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one take care